Hey everybody, it's Mintoon here and I am back after my computer had to go to the repair shop twice and I had to pay to upgrade to Windows 10. So yeah, I'm on Windows 10 now and I'm still getting used to it. Anyway, this is a short Clip Studio Paint tip video on how to get a shortcut to Clip Studio Paint into your start menu or your desktop or wherever you want. Uh, I usually like to keep my desktop fairly clean, which is why I don't have much on it. But yeah, in the latest update, the 1.6.8 update, uh, they removed the shortcut that went straight to the paint application. Instead, you get this shortcut, which opens Clip Studio. Now, I want to assure people, Clip Studio actually has a purpose. So, oh, I don't have any internet connection right now. My internet connection has gone out because it's just so wet outside. Um, but yeah, usually this would have help and other social media links in here. And you would have to click the paint uh, icon over here to actually start up the program. Now, doing this once or twice might not seem like much, but doing it every single time you want to start up the application, it's annoying. It gets really annoying after a while. So, there is a way to actually put a shortcut that goes straight into the Paint app, like I have here. But you need to create it manually. And so it's actually inside your local disk. I think I might have to blur some things out in editing. But yeah, it's, this is usually C drive, the drive Windows is installed on. Program files, so we're in C now. Program files. Uh, let's see, I think it's Celsius. Clip Studio 1.5. Clip Studio Paint. And this little application here, Clip Studio Paint. So the file you want to look for, it's in C, Local Disk, Program Files, Celsius, Clip Studio 1.5, Clip Studio Paint. And it's this little Clip Studio Paint icon that's called Clip Studio Paint. And I right click it, send to. Now it depends on where you want to send it. You can pin it to the taskbar, which is down here. Um, mine says unpin from start because I've already got it in my start menu. But if you don't have it anywhere, it will say pin to start. Uh, that's if you want to put it in the start menu. If you want to put a shortcut on your desktop, you have send to desktop, create shortcut. So I'll just try doing that now, just for demonstration's sake. And there I go. Clip Studio Paint Shortcut. You might want to rename that if you don't like that name. So I open that. And... I'm into Clip Studio Paint again. Hooray! No stupid Clip Studio. But I have read around that Clip Studio actually has a purpose and I'll need to get back to you on exactly how useful I think Clip Studio is, but for the time being I hope that was helpful and it's helped save some time in your workflow and I'll see you in the next video.